y'all sleep. Well, if you ain't, good evening, honey. And if you is, get up. Because I got a surprise for y'all, honey. Yes, God, yes. But before I get into the whole surprise of the situation, let me ask you something. Is it on? Is it on? The question of the day and every single day. Is this recording? Well, the red light is flashing, honey. And if it wasn't, I would never seem to know. So that means, yes, it is. What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grindr, Scruff, and last but not least, Christian Mingle. And the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison, a.k.a. B.K.A. The, and all that good. And I'm coming to you loud, live, and in color from the marvelous car. And not just any car. Say hey, Miss Mary. <laughs> Miss Mary, say hey, girl. Hello, everybody. Yeah. God, honey, I broke y'all H-E-A-U-X's up, honey. Y'all hoes up. It came on down here to Miami, Florida to visit my granddaddy child. I had to put on my, um, I call this my, um, my I'm your baby tonight wig. I'm, excuse me, party cap. Excuse me, Miss Mary, because when I'm around Miss Mary, it's definitely party cap. I put on my I'm your baby tonight party cap. Whatever you want from me, I'm giving you everything. I'm your baby tonight. From the moment I saw you, I went out of my mind. I never believed in love at first sight. Miss <laughs> Mary, you cannot accept, you cannot take the, the full quads and the party caps I put up on my head, honey, and I start to embody the person that I'm feeling. Giving him something he can feel to let him know this love is real. You got to give them something they can feel, Miss Mary, to let them know this love is real. How you feeling over there, mama? They miss you. Tell everybody, that, hey, you got any scripture, anything? You you really been using your Facebook. Yeah. I'm really proud of you, Miss Mary. They've been blessing me. They've been blessing me. Now, listen, don't come on. Don't start all that crying on here. I ain't crying. doing all that crying. I already done told all of them thank you for all their prayers and, and the love and, the, and the, the compliments they give to encourage me. I thank them. I ain't finna start crying. Please don't. Now I don't like that part. That part of cap right there, Miss Mary. Just like I know you don't like this one on me. I don't it's really like right. that one. I'm gonna give you this one. This one more you right here. This baby tonight party cap is more you. Miss Mary, your arms done got swollen as hell. You done got thick. Miss Mary, you done gained up about two pounds, ain't you? It's all in the, them ways, them arm ways. I can't talk. Look how big this face is. I done got so fat, Miss Mary. Oh! Oh! Oh, what was that look? I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else that be calling to be fan. I charge by the pound, okay? Understand, I charge by the pound. Just like USDA grade A top sirloin beef, I charge just by the pound. Because what, what, every, everything get big on me. Face real big, hips real big, cakes real big, and that thing real big. Yeah, look at it sitting over there to the side. <laughs> it needs jeans. <laughs> Speaking of big things, Miss Mary, I got a story. I got a story that I was waiting to tell you in the car. You know, I keeps me a good story. <laughs> the last story I told on a Sunday was, he took a good thing out of this world. You know, that's the last story. I got a good story this week. I got a story this week. Oh this week, God. I got to move this air freshener because speaking of air freshers, honey, it's going gonna, it's gonna to run right into the story. <laughs> So the story this week is, Mama, now you know I used to be a a, a high price. Oh I used to be a really, really high price hooker. You know that, Mama. You know I ain't kept them things from you, whatever. So I want to tell you a story about one of my incidents, honey, since we talking about uh, things real big, honey, and getting real big and, and stuff. And then plus, and plus we going out to eat, okay? Because at the end of the story, I want, at the end of the parable... <laughs> And the, yes, mama, you is come on. I'm gonna cover it up. Hmm, wait, wait, I'm gonna don't cover me up. <laughs> don't cover me up. I'm big. I'm big. Let's see that one. There you go. Hey, cover it up. Now, 
since we back on the big story. Now, Miss Mary, one night, one one late, late night, okay? No, excuse me. It wasn't a late night. It was during the day because I'm a daytime chick. One, one day, I had a, a, a gentleman caller come and see me, right? And he was a Hispanic man, and he didn't know too much English, you know? Oh, you already tired from the story? Ooh, that was shit. Miss Mary, you what shady cat. I didn't catfish that is anyway so back on to the story so it was like during the day right I'm, I'm, let me tell you so the man came he saw me right you know he came he, he paid me my money he asked me you know how much i was gonna charge him i said we're gonna be 350 dollars you know that's when i was charging 350 dollars you know? for what i charge him for these for these services these services that we want to be rendered between these legs with 350 dollars so the man came through there he paid me he paid me the 350 whatever and he got down on the bed we had done it we he just changed the money and i had the contraceptives on the side of the bed the, the condoms the lubrications and all that stuff or whatever and i'm telling you a story so mama i began to you know begin in my magic you know he had done gave me a little fellatio and, and had done got me i went from this to this you know and when i went from that to that he was like oh my god mommy oh mommy muy grande and i was like yes baby yes so the man got down on all fours i had done laid you down shame telling mm -mm, me no i ain't ashamed to tell you that you went you told him story about what happened you told that story on me when the last time we was in the car and I didn't want you I to tell, tell that, that you were that standing story. up there with them knives when I was crying telling with that other man. I didn't tell it. Oh, I can't go in there Ms. with Mary. Y Now, listen, now, let me tell y'all the story, because Miss Mary being real rude and nasty and big. So. I got to go back. Gotta come yes, back you do. Come on. Go, just go back on out and turn around. You follow Please instructions. Please leave me alone when I'm driving anyway, because I can't concentrate. So, anyway, the man. Your man got down on the office. I had to, I had to lay down by four or five towers. I laid by four or five towers down on the bed because the Spirit of the Lord had told me. It said, Madison, be prepared. And the Bible always says, be ye ready. Okay? And I, at this time, I was ready. I laid down four towers. Child, I had done got behind that man and I started working that man. I was tearing that man up from the back. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. He said, hey, my God, mommy. Hey, my God. Hey, hey, my God. My God, I ain't my God, mommy. I ain't mommy. I ain't mommy. I ain't. He just kept saying, I ain't mommy. I ain't mommy. And I had done pulled my meat out of the back of him. You know what I'm saying? And when I pulled the meat out the back of the man, girl, do you understand, Miss Mary? That man had laid a whole egg on my bed. Oh, my. I don't want to hear this story. Miss Mary, he had done laid I don't want to hear that about no doodle. -doo. He had laid a whole egg down there on the bed. And Miss Mary, do you understand? This man had all this to turn around. Listen now. Had the audacity to turn around, look down at it, and ask me, Mommy, did you do that? Miss Bear, when I tell you, I bust out into a ridiculous. Yeah, you did, you did. I bust out into a sickening cackle, and I said, Sir, do you not see that you are you getting hit from the back? You let that goose egg, you put that goose egg there on the bed like that. How the hell I shit it on the bed? I was hitting you from the back. Miss Mary, do you understand that this man. Kept tooting his booty up like I was gonna continue to hit him from the back. You ain't got no shame. None. Because these things happen. See what I'm trying the moral of the story of the parable is do not go and have any Mexican food before you wanna get hit and enter your rectum from the back. Okay? That goes for men, women's, and, and all you peoples that participate in anal sex. Do not go up here to the Casavanna like we finna do. Who see Casavanna back there? Don't get you a whole chicken platter and then leave there and call an escort up, a transgender escort up, and come and spend three hundred and fifty dollars to come doo doo on her bed. Don't Why do that. Why would you tell talk about doo doo when we finna go eat? I have a weak stomach. Miss Mary, you also have a weak leg, but that don't stop you from walking. And your weak <laughs> stomach ain't gonna stop you from eating. Trust me, okay? I take you. <laughs> Obviously, because it ain't stop you all these other times. <laughs> anyway, child, that was the moral of the story. The please do doing. not. Please make sure you keep you a fleet animal. Uh, you ain't the one don't be have no sandwiches. Don't have no sandwiches, no black beans, no arroz con pollo, honey, or any fajitas before you get ready to perform oh, anal sex with somebody. That's and Please, it, it, please, please have some hygienic stuff Next about time, your cake. Please keep that information. That's too much information.
But Miss Mary, you know, somebody should have told you because you know you boo booed on a man. He Where told me. Boo booed on a man. Hmm. Don't what think. man told you that lot? Dude? My daddy. She anyway, child, I'll talk with y'all later on. Kisses, y'all. Love is kisses. I'm only here for two days, so you going to see Miss Mary for about two days. Kisses, smooches, chow. Is it off? The way this mug is set up, honey, it's never off.